Hey everybody. Uh, so today we're going to work on the relations and functions worksheet. And it looks like my camera froze. So hold on a second. There we go. Okay, so today we're going to go over the first worksheet of relations and functions. We're only going to go over the first two pages. Uh, the last two pages involve uh, integral notation, which we're going to learn about uh, in the coming days. So before we do that, we can only stick to these. So first things first, we already went over the notes of what a relation is and what a function is, what domain is and what range is. <clears throat> so now we're just going to illustrate it. So this first few exercises are asking us to state whether or not this is a function or not. And we'll remember that a function is a relation in which the x and the y's have a one-to-one -one ratio. In other words, the x values cannot repeat. The x values need to be unique. So if we look here, you notice one repeats. So we can already say, no, this is not a function. Let's list the domain. So we have one, we have negative two, we have negative one, and that's it. Now, ideally, you want to put that in order from lowest to highest, but for this example, we're not going to do that. Range, same thing right here. So negative two, zero, two, and three. You'll also notice I didn't write the number more than once. So even though one happens twice, I only wrote it once. Okay? Let's look over here. One, two, three, four, five. The x values do not repeat, so yes, this is a function. Domain, one, two, three, four, five. That's our, those are our x values, and then we have 1, 2, 5, 10, 15, and then those are our y values. Okay, over here, 17, 15 over 4, 15, 17 over 4. So none of the x values repeat, so yes, it is a function. The domain, 17, 15 over 4, <clears throat> excuse me, 15, and then 17 over 4. The range, we have 15 over 4, 17, 17 over 4, 15. Okay, negative 3, negative 3, 3 over 2, 5. So the negative 3 repeats, therefore it is not a function. So negative 3, 3 over 2, 5. And then the range, we have 2 fifths. 3 fifths, negative 5, and 2 fifths, but we already wrote that. Okay. So now we're doing the same thing, only they give us a grid. They don't give us the coordinates. So what we need to do first is actually identify the coordinates. So we're going to use a blue for this one. So this is negative 2, negative 2. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, this is negative 1, 1. This is 1, 0. This is 1, 1. Uh, this is 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. This is 3, 3. And this is 3, negative 2. So those are our points. What's the domain? Okay, so negative 2, negative 1, 1, and 3. Range, we have, let's see, negative 2, 1, 0, we already put 1, 3, we already have negative 2. Is it a function? Well, the x value repeats, you can see here. Also, this thing fails what we call the vertical line test. So if you draw a vertical line, it should only be touching one point, whereas here it's hitting two points. And the same thing occurs right here. So this fails the vertical line test. So we'd say, no, it is not a function. So you can actually tell pretty quickly by looking at a graph of whether or not it is a function or not. Without even really writing down the coordinates, you can tell that, oh, this vertical line passes through two points. It is not a function. Let's check this one over here. So we're going to write the coordinates again. So we have negative 2, positive 3. We have 0, 1. We have 2, negative 1. And we have 3, negative 2. So the domain, negative 2, 0, 2, and 3. Uh, the range, we have 3, 1, negative 1, negative 2. Is this a function? 
vertical line, vertical line, vertical line, vertical line. Yep, it passes the vertical line test. Also, obviously, there's no x's that repeat. You can see here. So, yes, it is a function. All right. So that's the first page there. Let's flip it over. And zoom in here. There you go. Okay, so we have right here, we're going to write down the coordinates. So negative 2, 0. Uh, negative 1, positive 2. This is 1, 2. This is 2, 0. So domain, negative 2, negative 1, 1, and 2. Range is 0, 2, Oh, I totally forgot one. Hold on. 0, 3. I didn't even see that. 0, 3. So domain should also include a 0. Sorry about that. Did not even see that. You know why I didn't see that? Because I didn't circle all of them like I should have been. That's why. So range would be 3. 2 we already wrote. And 0 we already wrote. Is this a function? Yeah, I think it is. Look, it passes all the vertical line tests. Right? So, yep. It's a function. Let's check out this one. So this is negative 2, negative 4. This is negative 2, negative 2. This is negative 1, 1. And this is 1, negative 2. And this is 3, 0. So it means negative 2. Uh, negative 1, 1, and 3. The range is going to be negative 4, negative 2, uh, positive 1. We already have negative 2, and 0. Is this a function? Well, it fails the vertical line test right there. Because uh, they both have negative 2 as the x value. So no, it is not a function. Okay, so now we're going to work with what's called a mapping diagram. So um, the, I think the easiest way to do this is actually list the domain range here. So domain is negative 2, 0, 5, and we already have negative 2. The range is negative 1, 3, 4, and we already have 3. Is this a function? Uh, no, it's not because the x is repeat. So mapping diagram. I'm going to make two ovals. I'm going to label this domain slash input. And this is the range slash output. So I'm going to list the points. And we're going to go in order from lowest to highest here. So the x values are here. So negative 2. 0, 5, and this is going to be negative 1, 3, and 4. And now we just connect these values. So it's negative 2 to negative 1. So negative 2 to negative 1, 0 to 3, 5 to 4, and negative 2 to 3. And you can tell it's also not a function because you have more than one arrow coming out of the x values here. So that's a dead giveaway that it's not a function. Okay? And let's try over here. So domain is negative 1, 0. 2, 3. The range is 5, 3, negative 1. Is the function? Yes, the x values do not repeat. And let's, let's draw a mapping diagram. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh man, I'm going to a food coma. I had some uh, garlic and parmesan wings for lunch from Stop and Shop. Pretty tasty. Domain and input, range and output. So we have negative 1, 0, and 2, negative 1, 3, and 5. So negative 1 goes to 5, 0 goes to 3. Oh, I totally forgot one. A three here. I didn't even see the three. Crazy. Uh, 
2 to 3, and 3 to negative 1. Okay, and you can tell it is a function because there aren't any x values with more than one arrow coming out of it. Okay, let's try out this one. Second to the last one here. So domain is going to be negative 1, 0, 1, and 0, but we're not going to write it twice. Range is going to be 7, negative 3, 10, and 7, but we're not going to write it again. <clears throat> is it a function? No, it is not, because the zero repeats. So let's write that mapping diagram out. So domain slash input. And this is range slash output. So we have a negative one, zero, and one. And here we have negative three, seven, and ten. So negative 1 goes to 7, 0 goes to negative 3, 1 goes to 10, and 0 goes to 7. So you can see that there's two arrows coming out of the same x value. All right, last one. <clears throat> okay, so domain. We have 1 half, 1 fourth, oh, shoot, away, and negative 1 half. Okay. The range is going to be 2, and they're all 2. Okay, that's, that's straightforward. Is it a function? Yes, because none of the x values repeat. And now we're going to, this will be an interesting looking one actually, it's going to be kind of funny. So domain slash input, range slash output. So negative 1 half is the smallest. 1 eighth, 1 fourth, and 1 half. And here's 2. And they all connect to 2. That's funny. So that is a function, because not, not any of these values do they have more than one arrow. So, yeah. All right, so that, that, uh, that's the whole thing right there. Hopefully that was helpful. So you can see we worked with mapping diagrams. We worked with graphs. And we just didn't really work with any of that here. So that's, that pretty much covers the beginning of beginnings of relations and functions. Hopefully that was helpful. Thanks, guys.